Hey everyone, and welcome to Light Sirens Action. Today you have tuned in on a Medication Monday. Medication Monday is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where we highlight a different EMS drug that we administer out in the field. And we do this specifically in EMT drug card format. But as always, please abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is not meant to be a replacement for medical advice. Today's medication is called oral glucose. Oral glucose is also known by its brand name, which is instaglucose or glucose 15. So it falls under the class of hyperglycemic agents or anti-hypoglycemic agents and carbohydrates. Your mechanism of action is fairly easy to understand. After it's absorbed into the GI tract, it is distributed to all the tissues and it raises the blood glucose level. Your indications, suspected hypoglycemia in conscious patients. Patients. And it's specifically conscious patients because just like the name of the drug is oral glucose, our patients have to be awake and alert enough to protect their own airway because this drug is given orally. All right, let's touch on dosages a little bit. But before we do, as always, guys, please abide by your local protocol because dosages do vary from location to location. All right, your adult dose would be 12 to 25 grams and you may repeat as needed. And most protocol will say, you know, give it five to 10 minutes and then test the blood sugar again and determine if you need to give more. For pediatrics, it's going to be five to 25 grams. And just like with adults, you may repeat as needed. Contraindications of oral glucose, altered mental status, unconsciousness, the inability to protect one's own airway, a nausea and or vomiting and hyperglycemia. So let's dive into that just a little bit more. If your patient has an altered mental status or is just kind of in and out of consciousness, that is going to make me doubt that they can protect their own airway. So that is why it's a contraindication of oral glucose and hyperglycemia. There's no reason to give somebody sugar who already has a high blood sugar level. Your adverse reactions are going to be nausea and or vomiting. How it's supplied, it is typically in tubes of paste. A few side notes about oral glucose. You always want to test the patient's blood to ensure that this is a true case of hypoglycemia. So get out your glucometer and test the patient's blood sugar levels because there's no point in giving somebody oral glucose if that's not the issue. Oral glucose must be swallowed. It is vital that the patient can protect their own airway. So it's just like we were talking about before. It's just important because we want to avoid aspiration and choking. Check the patient's blood sugar 10 minutes after administration. This is always a good rule. Once you give the oral glucose, check their blood sugar and you know their level of consciousness and their overall affect. And if it's improved or it hasn't improved, then make your decision on what you're going to do next. You can always repeat the dose if if necessary. Oral glucose is typically flavored. There's grape, lemon, orange, etc. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye!